I think you'll really notice it when you do the one where you're going out of week. It seems funny to say it's been wonderful, but I had no expectations. I didn't know which road we were going, what, what was going to happen. They're all very kind, very professional, really makes you feel like they really care about you. You're not just a, a job for them. In May of 2019, uh, my husband and I had been on a trip, and when we got home, I noticed a lump in my left breast. I had um, invasive ductal carcinoma, cancer of the left breast. I had six rounds of chemotherapy before I had surgery, and then um, they referred me to here for physical therapy because I had um, developed lymphedema in the left arm and a possible frozen shoulder. They said Lindsay was the best one around, which I know anybody who's dealt with her would definitely agree. And so then I've been coming here weekly, twice a week since um, the middle of July. I actually became interested in lymphedema therapy because my mom has metastatic breast cancer and has lymphedema. And so it really makes me think about e treating each patient as if they're a family member because I always think about everything that my mom went through and how much it's affected her day-to-day -day activities. And so I just wish that at the time that my mom was going through treatments, there would have been oncology rehab available for her to go through. I didn't really know how bad it was until um, Lindsay has to take measurements every few weeks to show improvement and where we still need to go. And I was surprised that already I've lost two inches around my arm. And I didn't know how far I'd get or if I would be able to move this arm at all again. I was just kind of saying, well, if this is the best case scenario, what do I do? But um, I think I'm going to be able to get back there. I feel very encouraged now. Judy has been a dream patient. She's super motivated. Um, she had some great goals, wanting to get back to participating with Habitat for Humanity. Um, she, prior to treatments, would walk several miles a day. And so she's been really motivated, really positive outlook on everything. So she's been a joy to work with. <laughs> I'm up to there. I've got a ways to go, but it's getting there. The staff, and especially Lindsay, just, they have been phenomenal. They're very caring people, very professional. Um, she's answered questions, a lot of questions <laughs> about other concerns I had besides the breast cancer. During this, this past summer, I broke a bone in my foot, and she was kind of a resource for that, too. Very knowledgeable and caring, and uh, it's gone very well. The idea of no pain, no gain does not apply at all. <laughs> and in physical therapy in general, that doesn't usually apply, but especially when we're working with oncology patients. We're, we're looking at what their specific goals are. We're taking into consideration some of their previous medical history. That first day gives us a better idea of what they're going to be able to tolerate. And so every therapy plan that we come up with is very individualized. There's not a set protocol that we're following. We're, we're taking each patient as an individual and coming up with a specific plan for them. When my chemo was done, I said, what do I say now? I said, Am I, I know I'm not cancer free. I said, do you call it in remission or what? And they said, the phrase that they use now is to say, there, at this point, there is no evidence of the cancer. Everybody's been very attentive, make you feel like you're the only one on their client list, which I know is definitely not the case. But uh, any little question, you can call, and there's just a list of people that are willing to help you or check into things for you.